Hello friends, welcome to my channel, Talking and Playing Games. This is Eating Cookies, and I am playing Crusader Kings 3 Peasant Dynasty with Countess Dorothea Wertenberg. And if you recall from last time, we left off with her having just gone to a feast, and she is now trying to seduce her husband, so that way she can have a baby. So that way she can have an heir, and we can continue this game just in case something happens to Dorothy, who right now is young and healthy, but things happen. So that's kind of where we're starting at. Now there's wars going on all around. We're not involved in that. We are just focused on having a baby. Um, that's, that's our entire goal in life. Um, not to go, not to go hard on the baby making part of things, but yeah, we're kind of, we're kind of stuck there. Um, so let's see. Um, we are still not endorsed by our bishop. There is an active election in the Holy Roman Empire that we cannot have any input on, so whatever. Um, we don't care about that right now. Um, there's a bunch of uh, people way, way ahead of me in terms of rank and prestige. Um, but Dorothy's going to work her way up there. Um, oh, look at all these children who are you know, duchesses, that's really cute and sweet. And, you know, you girl, you go lit to your old Agnes of Piedmont. Um, you know, they're working it as babies and you got to respect that. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and um, just unpause now so we can, because right now what I'm working on doing is just swaying my husband to like me. Um, I might see if I can divorce him at some point, or maybe just have a lover on the side, um, which is something that, you know, I don't think Dorothy really, like, I think she's willing to do that because she knows she needs to continue the line. Um, and it's really frustrating when her husband's just, just not getting it together. Um, you have one job, honey. Um, I'm afraid that he's probably a uh, gay or asexual, which means the odds of having children is much lower. Um, not impossible, but much, much lower. Um, but you gotta take one for the team sometimes. Um, your account, you have responsibilities, you have a duty to your wife who is technically your liege. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just saying this is some, there's, you gotta, you gotta, you just gotta, um, so, yeah, while I'm at this point, I do want to build up a bit of a army because, like, there's wars popping off all around. Eventually, somebody's going to decide that they want my, you know, realm, and they're going to, um, oh, yeah, this guy already has a claim on Wertenberg, um, this, little, this little cutie pie, Count Friedrich. Um, who doesn't like me, but that's fine. Um, yeah. I can't declare war on him yet. I do have a claim on his county, but I don't have enough prestige to declare war. Um, and I don't know anything about his military either, because um, I'm working with that mod that hides a lot of information. Um, do I have any, okay, uh, I'm not even trying to, I do have a hook on him, a weak hook. Hmm, okay. I could try to get his military information through the spy action. Um, the odds are very unlikely. Um, uh, my spy master is okay even though he does not like me. Um, well, I want this guy to training generals. Um, I usually like my marshal to train generals because it gives some bonuses to the people that actually matter in the, in the military. Um, you know what? He can't, like, if he catches me, he's just going to, like, have a negative opinion, and that's, that's fine. He already doesn't like me. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's just try to get some information about his military. Um, he's at negative prestige, which means he can't start a war against me, even though he has a claim on my county. Um, so, you know, he's not going to do anything. I'm at least not at negative prestige. 
Um, let's see, for that spy scheme, I already have two agents. Gudrun and Gerhild, Gerhild um, who are two of his knights. I can get his spy master involved with a, I'm guessing with a bribe. Oh, with most of my money. Mm. I think that's kind of worth it though. Cause like getting somebody's spy master in on a scheme, um, like, that's just, it's kind of hard to pass that up, especially because, like, like, I want his county, but I also, I also just want to annoy him. Um, I don't, I don't know why. Um, he's just a neighbor. I'm already, like, he's got a claim on my land. I get the feeling that we're not going to have a good friendly relationship. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to bribe, what's her name? Oh, her name is also Gerhild. Okay, Gerhild. I'm gonna I'm gonna bribe her um, to help me out here, um, which makes the success of this uh, maybe firm maybe, which is good, good, good odds. I'm gonna take that. Um, I mean, not great odds, but you know, okay odds. Um, so we have that working. Um, I am gonna need another county in Swabia. Um, to be able to take the duchy. This used to be somebody else. This used to be somebody else ruling this. Ha! Huh. I wonder what happened there. Title history. Um... Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. Oh, that's the entire duchy. No, I'm curious about specifically this, this, this. Um, oh, so, okay, so, okay, so this, this lady, Adohide, passed away um, of old age. Oh, okay. And so this is, he inherited it. Okay, so I now have the duchess's marshal over here. I really don't want to go up against a marshal unless, uh, he's actually competent at marshalling. Um, who's this? Okay, so she has consumption. Um, so not the greatest of health. Um, not really a great person, I guess. I mean, she's vengeful. I'm not going to say she's a bad person. Like, I don't know her personally. I don't want to make judgments about that. Um, okay. I think I don't want to take a county from my liege. That's just not a great idea. Um, I would like to take a county like adjacent to one of mine, but I don't know if that's going to work out because otherwise I would have to go up against... Uh, well... So I either go up against this Marshall guy, and he also has these two. Um, I can go up against her. She only has one county. So the more counties they have, um, the more military they're going to have. Um, she just has one county. That's, that's okay. I might set my... Bishop to fabricating claim on her land. Um, just for right now. In the meantime, that prestige is ticking up. And once I get enough, I'll declare a war on the goober here. Um, also, does my husband at all like me? Does he just, like, maybe think I'm okay? Um... Why does he have so much prestige when I have so little? Can he give me some of his prestige? Is that even a thing? Um, I don't think it is. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Like, I guess I'm just curious about my husband. I wonder what his deal is. I don't understand what he's thinking. I don't understand why he's not doing his duty. Um, again, you know, Count Lifris, you have... A single job within this realm. I haven't given you any other tasks. You have one job. 
Um, and you're not getting it done. And Dorothy's not getting any younger, you know? So it's, it's, it's make or break, man. Um... I still don't have any good regions, okay. Um, so, yes, at what point can I declare a war on the goober? When I have 68. Oh, that's not going to be bad. That's not going to be bad. Um, I can probably declare a war before I get his military information, which is fine. I guess I'm guessing... Because he does, he just has one county as well. I have two counties. Um, so that does give me a bit of an advantage. Um, just off the cuff. I don't know the makeup of his, because like the levies don't matter so much. The levies are just, what the hell, my chancellor. Okay, so my chancellor's poor diplomacy caused problems with my vassal, and so I lost 150 prestige, and now I am at negative 83 prestige. Oh, I'm not amused, Judith. 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 What are you doing to me, sweetie? Okay. Um, ruining all my plans, Judith. Can I replace you? Is this, can I just, can I just fire her and get somebody better? Is that a thing that I can do? I can get this guy in there. Frida's okay. Nobody's much better than this though. Uh, okay. This might just be the best I can get. Oh no, why did I sort by stewardship? She's diplomacy. Um... Right, I put him in Marshall because she doesn't have really... She could also do stewardship, but I need my... I need to give this guy something to do, and he's not good at anything besides stewardship and learning, which, you know, he can't do because he's a man. Um, and everybody knows men can't be bishops. So I need to give him a job. I could put, and I need him at Marshall, because I need to give him a position. Why can't I just put him at, because like, he's really good at diplomacy. He's gray eminence, he's four stars. And I could just get a different Marshall, because I think I have some knights now. Yeah, I think I might just replace this Chancellor. I, I might replace Judith. God, this gay guy hates me. Why does everybody hate me? Wow, okay. Uphill battle for the peasant. Um, let's swap this. I'm not going to keep her on the Marshal. I'm just going to fire her because, you know, you screw up something like that. You lose 150 prestige and I'm already like hard up for prestige. I'm not going to keep you around. I'm sorry. It's It's just not going to work out. Um, so, in terms of Marshall, very incompetent, oh, I don't know why, Marshall, my options at Marshall are not, not great, um, but I have my, one of my courtiers, um, random lady, um, very shy. Uh, shy is the worst trait in this game. If you're if your character is shy, they can't do anything without stressing out. Um, but Luc uh, Lucia, Lucia, she's terrified of me. Uh, she's scared of me. Still not quite sure why, because my dread is zero. But she's scared of me. Um, maybe she's. I mean, she's also lowborn, so like. Why would she be scared of a peasant? Maybe she's just scared in general of everybody because she's shy. And her spouse looks really scary. Okay. Um, anyway. Um, let's have her as the marshal. We're going to fire Judith because Judith messed up. Um, and I 
you know, hold people accountable for their mistakes in this realm. Um, and if you lose me 150 prestige and make me delay a war that I had, I've been planning, um, yeah, you're going to need to find another place of employment. Um, look, she's already, she's already, oh, I mean, they gain novice marshal just when they get assigned. Look at all these people. Wow. Okay. Um, so this little thing, again, is what makes me, makes me nervous. The fact that I have no player air. Should I start? Mm. I am wondering if it's worthwhile to just kind of get her going on having an affair. Like, she's ambitious. I think I might want to see how the sway goes. Like, and then if it's, if it's looking like it's going to be really difficult, um, then she might try to find somebody. Oh, okay. My spy master has come to me with grave news. We do not know who, but somebody is plotting to kill my courtier, Gotthard. That's my court physician. Um, odds are, okay, one, he just looks like a bad guy. Um, odds are it's my husband. <laughs> it, it just, odds are, whoever's the rival is usually the person that is trying to kill them. Um, they came to blows over political matters while serving in my court, and now my husband seems to want to kill my physician, which is reasonable um, for a man who is calm, arrogant, and content. Um, my husband goes hard, but won't won't give me a baby. Um, so we do, we must stop the villain behind this. And you know what? If that means I can get rid of my um, if I can get rid of my husband, then that seems worthwhile. Unfortunately, I don't have many ways to investigate this. I just kind of have to sit here, even though I know I have, like, a good idea as to who it is. Um, just in a meta sense, I can't, I can't do anything with it. Um, I just gotta wait till it pops off somehow. Um, wait, am I in a war? Who's in a war? Who's in a war? Uh, Volition Conquest of the County of... Volden. Okay. So these... These... People want that. And my empire is an ally. Oh, okay, so we're allied with this person. Okay, so this county belongs to the Queen of Denmark. Queen of Denmark. Um, and we are allied to the Queen of Denmark. And so my, my uber liege, my liege's liege, um, has gotten pulled into this war way up here. Um, okay. Um, as the defender. Well... I hope they're having fun. I'm not going to do anything about that because right now I don't care. Um, it's very far away from me and I'm busy trying to have a baby um, through whatever means necessary. Um, oh, I can unlock a new perk for my diplomacy lifestyle. I think at this point... So I do need to get a perk, but I think, can I change my, I can't change my focus. Because I'm thinking from a role-playing perspective, Dorothy's getting a bit frustrated that she hasn't had a baby yet. Because she knows it's important when you're landed to have a baby. So she might kind of change her focus. Um, I can't actually change the focus, though, um, until later. I forget how long this is locked out for. Um, so let's just take one of these perks. I can get opinion gain from sending a gift. I don't have enough money to send gifts. Sway sk Oh, this might be useful because I am trying to sway my husband. Um, prestige per dread. I'm not ruling on dread, so I don't care. I can befriend people, which is nice. Or I could... I could, this is a useful one. Um, children receive one to three extra skill points. Um, it'd be useful if I had children. 
Um, and right now I'm mainly concerned with getting to that point because, uh, full disclosure, I had an earlier run through where I tried this very character and um, she died in childbirth. And so I had to just completely scrap that whole thing. Um, so, uh, yeah, trying to avoid that this round. Um, let's befriend's really a good one. Um, but just because I'm so close to, uh, the sway, like, chance, let's set that, um, because I'm, yeah, I'm, like, three months away from, like, gaining some opinion with my husband, and if I succeed, then great, if I don't, then I need to find a lover, I need to find a lover stat, um, and, you know, he doesn't need to hang around. In fact, it's better if he doesn't, because the longer he hangs around, the greater the odds that people will notice. And they already say, oh, look at Dorothy. She's that peasant who just kind of got two counties for no particular reason. And I don't want to give them any more of a reason to, like, sneer at me. Um, so they need to they need to see me as legitimate and they need to see me as um, having legitimate heirs and not heirs that were born, you know, as bastards, um, as the polite phrasing goes. Oh, a message arrives. Wow. OK, my spy master has arrived with a message. My liege, the information provided herein is destined for your eyes only and shall remain confidential if you wish, if you wish it, if you wish it. As per your order, we managed to gather personal and military information that might be of your best interest regarding Count Friedrich. I'm sure that you'll be pleased to know about the Oh, he has a lover secret. Interesting. Oh, he's a lover's... Oh. Oh. He's a lover with the Duchess's spy master. Oh. Um, he does have an army um not counting his allies composed he don't have any allies composed of 449 men so less than me of which he has 449 available at present accompanying this letter is a report about count friedrich and a map thoroughly describing the concentration of his forces in his personal holdings be advised nonetheless that information is volatile, my liege, and we estimate that this information will only be reliable for approximately three years. Wow, that is, that is good. Okay, so I have a hook on both my liege's spy master and also the guy who I'm going to conquer. Um, I don't care so much about the hook for him, because I'm just going to take over his realm, so, but... This guy, this guy, this cowardly thinker, um, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get that hook, um, and that might be useful. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I gotta do something. Um, I'm gonna hold off on that, because, like, I know his secret. Hooks expire after a while, so... Um, as long as I know it's a secret, I can get the hook. Um, and I'm not going to do anything with it immediately. Because um, right now my main concern is building up my prestige enough to just uh, take Zalern here. Um, yeah. If I had kids, I'd start working on trying to marry them, but... Um, I do not have children. Oh, he's he's bi. Okay. I could seduce him. That'd be hilarious. Um that'd be hilarious. No, I'm going to I'm going to win over my husband. I'm going to do this right. I'm going to try. Um Come on. Swaying my husband, making my husband like me. And if that doesn't work, then I'll try to seduce somebody. Um, not sure who. I'll find somebody. Um, doesn't need to be anybody. Oh, look, look, look. He likes me better. He likes me better. 
Okay, so we're we're going. We're going. Um I wonder if I have I don't wanna I think it's time is wasting. Um I don't know that I wanna like cause that takes two years. It's a lot. I'm gonna abandon that. Can I just seduce him now? Can we just no, it's still unlikely. It's still unlikely that I would seduce my husband. I'm giving you the hardest glare, Lifris. And I can't just divorce my husband. Yeah, that's just not a thing. Um, the the Pope would be would that's a no go. I have enough piety, but they would. She would not go for that. Um, I can spy on him. I can spy on him, try to get something that I can use to maybe um, divorce him. Let's, let's go that route. Um, okay, so I'm very likely I'm not going to bother getting more agents because odds are I'd have to bribe them. Um, should I be trying to just seduce a guy, an adult, a man? Um, do I have anybody with any appealing, like, traits? Not really. Um, I have kind of the dregs. My court's not very prestigious. Um, it doesn't really matter who it is. It has to be somebody who vaguely likes me. He's a hunchback. Is that congenital? It is. He's a brilliant strategist, though. Oh, my God. Oh, blessed day. A child is growing in my womb. My husband, Count Lifris will be proud. Words cannot describe how happy I am. Um, so Dorothy's knocked up. Now we just need to get through pregnancy, childbirth, and then get that kid to, you know, 16 years of age, at least 14, because, you know, if Dorothy dies when the kid's 14, yeah, there'll be a regent for a couple of years, but the kid will have enough, like, control to be able to manage it and get out from under the thumb of the regent. If you're stuck as a baby with a regent, it's just really not pleasant. Um, and yeah, Dorothy's going to have a... I'm not going to jinx it by saying anything about the length of her life. Dorothy will live as long as she lives. Oh, the schemer um, has been discovered. My spy master has come to me with grave news. Shock, it is my husband, Count Lifris, that is plotting against my courtier, Gotthard. Whoever could have guessed that? Completely unpredictable. The heartless fiend. Um, and the real frustrating thing is I don't think I can do anything about it. Um, yeah, yeah. Because it doesn't give me, like, just because he's scheming to kill a courtier... Um, means I, I can't imprison him. I just have to be like, well, honey, don't do that. That would be a bad thing. Please don't kill that man. Um, which is a little, uh, especially because he's the physician. Um, like, please do not kill the doctor. Um, we need him. I'm pregnant. Um, so, yeah, I can't do anything about that. I mean, if I were, I could, like, I can't even dismiss my husband. I can't do anything. I, the most I can do is, like, dismiss the physician, be like, save yourself. You have to leave. My husband will kill you. Um, but um, otherwise, I just kind of have to sit here and be like, well, my husband's trying to kill my physician. Um, that sucks for him. <laughs> Go on about my life. Um, and that's fine, I guess. That's fine. Um, I have enough money right now to get another physician. Um... Oh, the first time it happened, I barely even gave it a moment's thought. But my steward, Mayor Lutbert, 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 um, Lutbert, 
has grown bolder. His challenges no longer pass unnoticed at the council table. He's testing my limits. And the others are sure to follow. Oh, he's trying to undermine me. I see my steward is trying to undermine me. I could ignore him and steal his ideas. I could forget to invite him and leave him in the dark. Um, I shall give him tasks that are impossible to complete, or I could just say, how dare you challenge your countess? This guy is patient, humble, and temperate. They're all good traits. Um, so, but all of these options are kind of based off, like, this is the option to choose based off my perception of this guy and what would, like, really undermine him the most. Um, and choosing one of these would be the smart thing to do. Um, Dorothy is an elevated peasant, though, and, you know, she's a countess now, and the fact that this, this squirt, this mayor, um, who's even a man... Um, is trying to undermine her, just really kind of makes her mad. So she's, she's just gonna, yeah, she's just gonna go with the dread. Um, don't challenge your countess. And it takes a hit to opinion, but nobody likes me anyway. So it's not like, you know, I mean, basically I'm, I'm fully aware that nobody in my realm likes me. I I still need to sway my bishop. I forget about that. Okay, let's sway her. Let's sway her. Um, because if I can get her endorsement, I get a little extra money. Um, so at least we can maybe get one person to like me. Um, I do want to build up my bowmen. Right now, my monthly maintenance is 1.2. If I raise my armies, it goes up to negative 4.7 which would be greater than my income, um, which is okay if I already have some money on hand. Um, if I'm at a deficit or if I'm low on money, it becomes an issue, though. Um, kind of want to just boost up the size of like my bowmen I didn't get any details about what his army is comprised oh I, I do I can see he has mo oh he has bowmen oh he has bowmen hold up so what counters bowmen this is important light cavalry counters bowmen he has 300 bowmen if I had 300 cavalry, I could tear through him. It would be glorious. We're going to do that. Let's reduce this just to reduce on costs. Um, I need 900 gold to boost this up to um, 300. Um, I'm still working on getting prestige. Um, <laughs> I'm hoping for some prestige events or something, um, because really need it. Um, establish European Ivory Carving Center. How in random walrus ivory from Greenland arrive in European ports every year? Ha. Huh. Okay. I can't, I'm not eligible for this, but that is interesting. I can do this. Can it give me prestige? Hold up. So as a county who, as a countess who wishes to show my devotion to God, I wish to donate funds to construct a new Catholic religious building in my domain. Local community will spiritually benefit from this new structure and everyone will know my piety. Um, so I can get a boost to prestige. It doesn't happen immediately. 
and the construction process takes from a year to two years. Yeah, um, if it were an Insta, it might be worthwhile, but otherwise in the short term, I'd rather have the cavalry. Um, because, like, I'm building up prestige slowly, but, oh, here we go. My scheme to spy on my husband has been discovered, and now everybody knows of my plans. My servant now whispered that I have to resort to underhandedness to rule even my home. Um, oh, he's mad. He's mad. Um, I could say this is a big misunderstanding, and it would end the scheme. Um, my husband would lose even more opinion of me. Um... And I would spend even more prestige. <sighs> oh, okay. Um, I got caught spying. Or I could just say, I will show them how far I can go. I gain some dread. My husband loses opinion of me. Um, and these people, oh, I guess they're his family members, um, would lose opinion of me. I don't care about them. They're far away. Um, I wouldn't lose prestige. Okay, so what would, what would Dorothy go with? You know, I think Dorothy is pregnant now. She's trying to make the peace. Um, oh, taking a hit to prestige is hard. Wow, these are the big decisions, the tough decisions in life that really, you know, really make you think. She is stubborn. She is stubborn. If she weren't stubborn, I'd say she might say it's a big old misunderstanding, but I think she might stick to it because... She does not back down for anything. Oh, Dorothy will show them how far she can go. Oh, look, my husband hates me now. My husband hates me. Oh, some agents left my scheme. Um, so he's intimidated by me, but he does fear me, um, which is nice. Oh, people are leaving my scheme and joining my scheme. Wow, look at that. That's exciting. Um, it's still very likely, even though it's exposed. And I still have all these people involved. I guess they don't like my husband? Um, oh, Vito's no longer an agent on my scheme. God, my spy master hates me. Oh, these people are slowly dropping. Yeah, everybody's slowly dropping. I bet it's gonna... I might just have to call that off. You know, um... No, again, she's stubborn. Ugh, role-playing the character. Um, she's stubborn. She's going to stick with it. Um, and it's going to be a little pathetic and a little sad. Um, but that's kind of... That's kind of... It's kind of how she rolls. Oh, here we go. I have a baby. Okay. So I have a son. Which is okay. I mean, I'd prefer a daughter, of course, because everybody would prefer a daughter. Um, but this is fine. Um, so I have a son. Um, I have an heir, because right now, because I don't have a daughter, my son is my heir. Um, I could name him. I'm not, like, I don't care too much about names. Um, I just kind of roll the dice until I find something that I kind of like. Job? Hold on. I want the kid named Job. That's amazing. Yes. Yes. It'll be Job, Job von Bauer. And I gained some prestige. Look at that. I had a son gain some prestige. Beautiful. Didn't die in childbirth. I have successfully had a baby. He has no infirmities thus far. Let's hope he survives. Um, and you know, if I can have another baby, that's even better. Especially if it's a girl. Um, you know, air and a spare. Useful. Okay. Doing good. I think I think we're in a good good position. My husband hates me again. Just really hates me. 
and it maybe is a little deserved at this point. Still think he's gay or asexual. Nothing against that, um, of course. Um, but, oh, here we go. Oh, this is information on Lifras that I asked for. Um, so they gathered personal information on Lifras. Great. Um, I don't get a rundown on what it is, but he is, oh no, he, he's straight. He's straight. Okay, so my husband is straight. He just really doesn't like me. Well, that's hilarious. Um, does he have a lover? No lover. Okay, so he does, He has two relationships, but it's only showing one. Is there a secret lover that I just, I, I can't see? How very, okay, I don't get it. Um, okay. So my husband is actually straight. Um, he just really does not like me. Um, which is really unfortunate. Um, God, I hope he kills my doctor so I have a chance to, like, I have a reason to imprison him or at least divorce him. Um, because I, this, this marriage just, like I know back in the olden days, marriage was a much different thing, especially when you were nobility. It was much more about the politics, the land, um, inheritance, that sort of stuff. It wasn't so much the personal companionship. Um, so the fact that spouses don't get along doesn't matter as much. But on the other hand, you know, it's great when a spouse can work with you as like a team. Um, you know, um, this, this, this is just a little dysfunctional for me. Um, I do want to increase my cavalry. I guess I won't get updates on um, Friedrich here because I just have the information based off when I spied on him. So if he were really crafty, he could just like completely change up the composition of his men in arms and I would, I would have no recourse. I would have no way of knowing unless I spied on him again. And I'm not going to because I am approaching the point at which I can actually war with him, um, which is really exciting. Um, I could sustain a war for eight months. I don't think it would take that long to war against him. Um, because again, he just has the one county. He doesn't have much in the way of um, military. He doesn't have any allies. Um, so I think I have really good odds against him. Um, and I think I could wrap this up really quickly. Um, let me take a look at what my knights look like right now. I have... Right, this is... I don't like this particular accolade. Uh, to retire it and get another one, I'd have to spend prestige, and I can't do that right now. Um, but I have... Judith as my claimed knight. Okay, so my knights are okay. Um, I'm... That's, that's fine. Um, yeah, I think we're in a good, good position once I get the, I think it's 68 prestige. Um, once I get that, I'll declare my war and finally, finally expand the realm. Um, and then maybe my husband will be impressed with me and like me a little better. I don't, I don't think they'll do it. Um, I don't think, I don't think he'll care. He's content as he is. Maybe there's some cultural difficulties going on here. Some like, you know, cultural differences that are just kind of getting in the way of this marriage. Um, it's kind of unfortunate that there's no marriage counselor um, back during this time because I think they could really use it because, wow, wow, just really, just really sad. Like, I think this is, yeah, this is my opinion of him and it's not that bad. Like, I don't like his culture. Um, I'm kind of, I guess I'm frustrated with him, but I don't, it's, it's not that bad. It's kind of, it's passing. It can get better. He just really hates me, um, which is unfortunate, you know? Um, but I can't, I can't, I can't change the way he thinks of me. Oh, I gained a trait, not a steward. Oh yeah, because I'm on my lieges council as the steward. Um, which is really neat. 
really neat. Oh yeah, I have a, I can get a hook on this guy. So jazzed about that. Um, how long can I keep my army up? I can keep my army up for two years with the amount I have in gold. That should definitely be enough time. Let me, okay, so this, again, I'm just going after Zolern, Zolern here. Um, I'm going to be going after just straight lining to this barony. So basically this place to that place. It's, it's gonna, these are both plain areas. It's pretty much a straight shot. Um, I'm feeling relatively confident, probably overconfident, but, um, let's go. Let's go, Friedrich. Come on, you goober. Um, let's, let's declare the war. Let's declare the war. We're going to declare the war. Um, I want your county. I would like your county, please. Um, if you will not give it to me, then we will, we will have a war. Boom. Did it. Okay. Um, so now raise armies. Um, I'm not going to call on allies cause I don't have any. Um, Who's my automatic commander? It's Lucia. Um, do I have anybody who would be a better option? Not really. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, um, she's fine. She's fine. Um, oh, my army's already raised. Um, yeah, go, go for it. Y'all go. Get, get, get that. Um, and I'm gonna collide with his army, which is fine. We're gonna, we're just gonna duke it out here. Is he leading his army? Oh, he's, le oh, look at him. Look at him. He's got his little, he's got his little armor on. This is, that's adorable. Oh, that's so sweet. Um, oh, one of our knights was killed. That's very sad. Um, thoughts and prayers. Yeah, I'm I'm going through him because I got my cavalry and he's got his bowmen and cavalry just kind of counter the bowmen. So I just went straight through his army and now I'm sieging. Um, it's going to take a while because I don't have that many siege weapons. Um, it's going to take seven months. In the meantime, his, ar his army's not even retreating. They're just gone. His army's just gone. Um, so I'm already at 50% uh, percent in war score, and I just kind of need to sit and wait for the siege to go through. And it's going to be long, and it's really annoying that I have to kind of wait through this, but there's no, there's no other way right now. Um, so this is, like, cutting through my army as well, because, of course, like, the siege is bad for everybody. Oh, here we go. Um, Duchess Edith of East Anglia has announced to the world that she and her vassals can have converted to Lollardy. Lollardy. Um, having become disillusioned with the teachings of the Catholic priests and nobles of East Anglia, no longer consider the clergy to be righteous and true as Lollards. They believe their new faith properly aligns with the will of God that they are distancing themselves from their former religious institutions. Um, and I could convert. Tenant is pacifism. Um, I don't think Corthy, Dorothy cares so much about this because she's not a particularly zealous person. So, yeah, it's just going to pass her by. She's going to notice it. She's going to be like, come on, everybody's Catholic. You got to, what are you doing? Um, and she's going to ignore it because she's in the middle of a siege, which is a huge thing. Um, it's wearing down the army. There's attrition going on. Like, my people are dying um, just because sieges are really brutal for everybody involved. Um, but, you know, you just kind of got to stick with it. Um, that's 666. Um, and wait for this to 
countdown. And it'll get there eventually. It, like, there's disease happening. It's all, it's real bad. It's real bad. Um, like, they finished all the apples. <laughs> there's no apples left. Um, we're counting down to the final days. People are getting desperate. Um, oh, look. Oh, we have a small breach. It's, it's, all, it's all downhill from here. Um, you can hear the people, you know, doing the soldier, like, yelling stuff. Um, flames popping up. Like, it's very dramatic. This is very dramatic. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're, we're at the end times here. Um, it's all downhill for Friedrich. Um, you know, oh, 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 in the middle of the siege, my marshal has brought a new commander to me. Did you find her in the siege? Um, that's very random, but, um, yeah, that's fine. She can serve me. Um, maybe in the future I'll be more picky, but... Um, right now, Dorothy has to take whoever she can get. So now I have Zollern. Um, I control it. I got 34 gold. So I occupy his entire county, um, which is all he has. So now I can enforce my demands. Um, oh yeah, this is the slaughter at Zollern. Um, I... So I only lost 54 soldiers. Um, he lost 443. Sheesh. Um, he doesn't have any of his bowmen left, any of my, his levies, only... F okay. He only has four of his knights left. Um, so yeah, I slaughtered him is i it was it was a massacre um good job dorothy good job lucia let's let's enforce our demands um i get i get the county of zollern may wisdom ever elude me i am a much greater foe than he imagined and in order to put an end to this bloodshed he will comply with my demands um, he's very sad about it, though, and now he's wandering. He's a compassionate absolver, and he's wandering just around. Um, I get some fame, I get the county, and I get 15 prestige. So be it. You know, no hard feelings, it wasn't personal. Um, you just happened to be the first county that I took. Um, there'll be more counties. In fact, there'll be this county. Um, he still does have a claim on Zollern and on Wurttemberg, so it's possible he could get somebody to press that claim, but I'm not worried about that right now. I can station a men-at-arms resident, and also I have low county control here because I just conquered it. So let's get my marshal working on control in this county, and let's station... What buildings do I have here? I don't have any... I have a field here. So station siege weapon effectiveness is plus five here. And that's in Baden, Wertenberg. So there's some station men-at-arms bonuses um, just at the castles and stationed uh, siege weapons bonuses. There's no... Beyond the siege weapons, I don't think there's any particular bonuses. What does this guy have? He has a uh, walls and towers. Stationed heavy cavalry. I have light cavalry. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's kind of, there's nothing really specific to any of these anywhere. So we're just gonna stick the siege weapons there and call it good. 
So now I have Zollern, and look at that, my realm has grown. I now own three counties. It's really exciting. Um, look at that, look at that. Um, and as you recall, the goal is to eventually get one more county and then usurp the Duchy of Swabia from my liege, who is now 14 years old. Look at, look at Adelaide. She's grown up. She's grown up. Um, she is a fearless zealot. Wow. She's still wrathful. She is impatient. And she's zealous. Still bossy. Okay. You know? Um, she's a force to be reckoned with. Um, and I just need one more county to be able to work on taking the duchy from her. She will not like it. I do not care. That is where we are now. I'm working on a claim for Countess Hedwig's county, the county of Nordlingen. Nordlingen. I tried. Um, I'm afraid she might die soon because she has consumption. But she's feeling fine. So maybe not. Maybe she's fine. Meantime, if I had another kid, that would be fantastic. Um, right now, I think the goal is to wait for this claim to come in. Work on getting some information about her military. She's not going to just give it to me. So, this is very unlikely. Huh. Do I just need to know more people at her court? I can send an emissary. Let me send an emissary. How much is a medium gift? Oh, that's really large. No. I'm, I'm giving her a small gift of 20 gold, which actually is pretty, pretty decent. Um, and maybe that might make it easier to spy on her. Um, but the goal is to kind of get a sense for her military so I can kind of do like what I did with the goober in Zollern um, and figure out how to counter her forces. She also just has one county, so her military should be smaller than mine. Um, but even then, um, it's useful to think strategically about how best to counter what she specifically has. Wow, adjusting the control in the county of Zollern is going to take 14 years. Lucia, that's a long time. I wish I had a better council. Sad. Um, I wonder if I can get a better spy master who doesn't hate me. I worry about that a lot. She also doesn't like me, but she doesn't hate me quite as much as this guy. Um, but he's better at spy mastering. Yeah, I think I might just keep it as it is. He's not done anything really offensive yet. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, she received my emissary, and so I get a little bit of information. Not much, though. Um, which is fine. I didn't expect a whole bunch. Wonder, now that I have some information about her course, that's still very unlikely. Um, okay. We'll work on that. We'll work on that. Um, something in progress. I think here's a good place to stop, since I... Oh, Okay. I can get a claim on Hedwig's county. Um, it would put me in debt for a little bit, but that's fine. I can take the hit and just kind of wait for it to get out of the deficit. Um, so let's do that. Get a claim. She don't like it, but that's fine. Um, okay. This is a good point to stop because I did expand my realm a little bit. Um, and I'm kind of gearing up for the next expansion. Um, I do have an heir now, which kind of um, makes me feel really a bit more secure, a bit less anxious. 
Um, still at odds with my husband, but that's a work in pro it's really not a work in progress. I, I might just give up on it. Um, but you know, I think Dorothy is doing well for somebody who came to power with two counties at 16, um, and no resources. So, um, we're off to a good start. Um, and I think this is a great place to leave off. Um, I really appreciate you following along, especially as we get through some of the, the startup learning fumbling stuff um, with the audio, which I am working real hard on getting down um, with my wife assisting me. She's better at audio stuff than me. Um, but thanks so much for watching. I think I'm supposed to remind people to subscribe, but whatever. Um, and I'll see you on the next one.